This movie supports professional installation of carpet concept flat woven carpeting with acoustic backing. Independent from this movie, detailed installation guideline has to be followed. Available online on our website or at our customer service. On our website you can find many additional clues and tricks to simplify the installation. Before cutting, ensure a suitable condition and preparation of subfloor conforming to general standards. Before cutting the carpet, make sure that the product and die batch number is controlled and compared with your order. In addition, the delivered carpet must be inspected for faultlessness, its color and all other identifiable defects. To ensure perfect installation, textile carpeting and all components, for example adhesives, should acclimate approximately 48 hours before processing. You need the following tools for installation. A knife with hook and straight blades, a roll-up steel straight edge, an acryl cutter, a folding yardstick, a double head stretcher, seam clamps, a notch trowel B2, a veneer hammer and a roller or grinding board. Please think about additional tools like shears and replacement blades. If you are prepared, Roll out the carpeting. By trimming, please add some additional centimeters per length. All carpet runs by flat woven carpets are laid out loosely with an overlap of 3 to 4 cm. When processing several rolls, check the roll label and follow the ascending roll numbers as well as direction marks on the backside of the carpet. Ensure before each cut that sharp blades are used as preferably all thread systems should be cut through with a single cut. This particularly before a double cut, where two lengths are cut overlapping each other. This is recommended by longer rolls. If the initial cut did not completely go through the lower carpet run, recut the lower by using a hook blade knife. Do not use a hook blade for the general cut due to risk of fraying. Alternatively to a carpet knife, you can use the acryl seam cutter. By smaller runs, we recommend to cut the run edges separate from each other. Cut approximately 2 to 3 cm precisely and in parallel form from the roughly pre-cut edges on the right and left hand side of the length of the carpet. A roll up steel straight edge helps cutting a straight line. After cutting, lay out the length in the middle of the room. Please follow rising roll numbers and pay attention to dialogues. Apply the adhesive uniformly in accordance with adhesive supplier specifications using a notch trowel. Lay in the carpet length and ensure that the backing is sufficient moistened. Then proceed with the other length. Use a veneer hammer to ensure that both runs lie equally in the adhesive. If necessary, use seam clamps for closing the seams perfectly. After fitting, press down the glued carpets using a roller. This avoids bumps and bubbles in the carpet. After gluing, you can fulfill the exact cutting at the walls. At inspection chambers, round cuts and seams, we recommend to use a permanent seam sealing. This should be done with transparent glue. Avoid soiling on the pile material.